Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Blizzard Raptor. This is where I play games for your entertainment and offer my humble opinion on those games. All are welcome here. It is a safe space. If you are a new person or if you are one of the people who watch my videos and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification icon so you know when my content goes live. Feel free to leave a like and a comment on the videos as well and I shall entertain you with some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Use your tongue or I will feed it! Now, I never did get around to roaming the countryside as Eivor and live streaming. I haven't had the energy this week to do a live. So, contrary to what I wanted to do... Dear God, we're in trouble! Watch out over there, men! Oh, Christ in holy heaven! Gidridge asked me to help you whenever I could. He'd win soldiers have got us in a tough spot. We're grateful for any help. Here we go. Taking a couple of hits. left well that's oh that's it done so where else can we go let's get our horse and Right, because that's literally all we can do. And we'll be looking for the... We'll either be looking for groups of the feared to help, or we'll be looking for the flag bearers. This is Pire, where these wolves are. Where are his cronies, though? Trolls, cursed creature. Yeah. That didn't count. Yeah, no. I'm not going to fight them because they are far too powerful for me and this has nothing to do with the... This has nothing to do with the fear, so... Yeah. 
I hear you. There's an abbey up there that might have a... Yeah, get over here. This is the way we want to go. But not that way, but this way. Yeah, so we're looking out for either Men of the Fear to help them, or flag bearers, or caches of supplies. None of which should be difficult to find. But more to my right. None of which should be difficult to find, but for some reason, they are. I thought that path was the path to where I wanted to go. It is a... Ah, it's one of the mushroom puzzles. This is why I didn't want to make two episodes out of this because I knew that it would take me a while to find the... I knew it would take me a while to find where all these things were. I think I know what that is. Deal with that later. They're nothing, they're bandits. We'll try the Abbey. See if there's a flag bearer here. What we might have to do is head to the south and just look for another couple of things to do. This is the north half of Oxford. your eyes my friend that might be a flag bearer see i've done this raid already so there's not much point in me raiding this again <laughs> nah he's not a flag bearer he's a standard bearer i do the same thing i hear you say Could be one at St. Albans Abbey. You know what, yeah, let's go and link up with those two clowns. I think that might be the best way to go. 
because St Albans Abbey is quite a big headquarters. And that at least checks off part of the story that we're trying to do as well. Whereas... What I'm doing at the minute isn't really doing anything. I'm just riding about trying to complete the second part of this. Bandit again. I'm not bothered. Bandit can get stuffed. If he's stupid enough to follow me then... Bass him and hey. Sigurd, that's who's <laughs> trying to remember his name. Bass him and Sigurd can have him. For those of you that are still playing it, uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Assassin's Creed Mirage has had a New Game Plus added to it so that you can play through the game as. A sort of powerful assassin. So your first playthrough you're levelling up, getting all the abilities, increasing Basim's strength, and then in the, your second playthrough you can basically play through it as uh, a much more powerful assassin with access to all your tools, which will help you complete some of the earlier story missions easier. Still, game's still not my cup of tea and I won't be playing it New Game Plus, but I know that there are people out there that enjoy it and I'm absolutely cool with you enjoying it. Each to their own, everybody have fun with what they want to have fun with. Um, it is not my job to tell you what to play, it is, I just give my opinion and that's all it is, it's an opinion. Where I say, it's either it's not my cup of tea or I really enjoyed it. I know for a fact that there are a lot of people, for example, that don't like Valhalla, that were looking forward to the next mainline entry, and when Mirage came along they were satisfied because that's what they wanted. I myself am looking forward to finishing Valhalla this place for is the first time. Pardon me. For the first time. Then finishing the DLC for Valhalla and then Assassin's Creed Red. I'm going to have to kill my way through here again. Gonna rip you. Got a few glitches already at the start of this. Don't know what's happened. It's not normally this bad. But I've had a couple of visual glitches. Takes a lot to sneak down behind somebody, eh? I'm sorry, what did you think you were gonna do? No. That's what. Easy, easy. Do we dance around the idea? From what I've learned about Fulke, she's not shy about sharing her esoterica. If we ask her one question, she'll answer ten. Good. But we mustn't seem eager. She could use it against them. And here's Eivor. Ah, you timed things well. The holy woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Edwin into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. 
There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I've already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Eivor, there was a time when you would follow me without question, because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly, never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray your... your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Giedrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. Aye, Bass, in there, bother. I'll just pull you along, yeah. What do we know of this woman? Very I can of hear Seagull's reply now. So yes, I raided St. Albanese before. I did that on one of the earlier videos. I think I was raiding for supplies. Or I was heading, no, you know what it was? I think I was heading south for London and I raided St. Albanese on the way because I was like, I've not done anything for this whole episode. Don't, don't ask me, I don't know why the Pathfinder in this is as bizarre as it actually is. It is weird. This is where we get off here. This place will have recovered. Be seen. Better be hooded. Amazing that my cloak got wet despite the fact that only my boots touched the water there. I want to talk to you. Oh, well, you can talk if you want. Put your weapons away. You know what, there's no point in... As quiet as the... Yeah, I was, I was thinking about just calling in a raid, but I think we're too far away from the... Too far away from the water for me to call raid. Come on! Let's go drink. Yes, let's have a drink. Sorry, the ale is all gone. No drink, eh, you festering crust bucket. I'll see you rot in a cell. Bloody false promises. Survey the area sooner. So I need to get all the way up to the, the actual monastery itself. Many of them here. We'll try this way.
think this stuff will hide me as well. Yeah, it does. Perfect. Oh. So the way in was through that window. But I've already unlocked this door. This should be unlocked. Yeah, it is. Off him. I was going to say there can't be anybody here, Lord really. Holy Judas, I thank you, beloved Jesus, for the wisdom to pierce a fierce cloud. Who dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you! We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your god so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. <laughs> the Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key and depart with your strange friend. Nice, I did that without having to threaten him. Wasn't there something else in here that oh, it's in here with her? I think. Praise the Lord of the Treasury of Light for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus or the self begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm, a humble seeker of the self begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts. The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl in robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. No, no, I'm here for earthly treasures. <clears throat> Up we go. She has a sword that looks like a crucifix. Interesting. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies? Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Where you go, I... Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Hmm. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth. 
one of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory, about defeating Edwin. Do you know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory? It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee. Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering gods let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eivor. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? No. The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. I highly, highly doubt it. Hopefully that should be me following in with her now. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loves you? For preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on Earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Sacklus, or Yaldabaoth, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Saklas and his kind were wise in the time, but they lost sight of the true God, the self-begotten one, Lord of the Treasury of Light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fuge. And I have not yet reached its end. Fuge is a Templar, I can tell. She collects... The artifacts for her church. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. And the fact she's collecting old lore and old pieces of writing, but not sharing them with the assassins. She doesn't recognize the hidden ones. Well, I think she does recognise the fascins a hidden one, but she's hidden what it well. Is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Oh, I found this guy already. Brother Paul! Is this him? Your acolyte, Paul? 
my dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You, always questioning, second-guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, and I missed my chance. It's a stone, Sigurd. You're chasing shadows like a madman howling at the moon. What matters is victory against Edwin and her allies. This was my victory. To know my true self, my destiny, my... Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. Brilliant. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Giedrich our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! No! Cut them down! Leave none alive! Avon, are you mad? Edwin, please. We had our chance! We will speak of this, Avon. I will not forget. The brother and sister have fallen out. Who was that? Oh, you. Try again. Go on. Aver, you mock minded fool. 
that was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. That's one view, Bessem. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Gidrich. It was your plan all along? Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. You move with the wrath of Odin. But you do not have his wisdom. That will lead you astray, Eivor. Come, friend. We have a battle to prepare for. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? Oofed. All my life we moved as one. As family. As kin. I have always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You fought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Giedrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barren where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd. Brother. You are lost in a sea storm of your own making. You can see the Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. The yeah, you can see the cracks are starting to really appear now between Eivor and uh, Sigurd. We're really starting to appear, and all the while, Basim whispers in Sigurd's ear, telling him what he wants to hear. We know from the end of Mirage that uh, Basim wasn't himself anymore. That he was taken over by something powerful that changed him into something else. The, the thing that is inside him <laughs> needs explained. Uh, da, da, da. Eaton Barn, Eaton Barn, Eaton Barn, Eaton Barn. Eaton Barn is here. Yeah. Yeah, so the... Yeah. Basim is a... Basim is a problem. You're not going to get the full story of this unless I force myself to do... the... dream segments of the game. Take up Valka on our offer. So, once we finished... taking... Oxford. Once we finish this Oxford segment, I will uh, do the dream segment. But I'll mark the three episodes as dream segments. Nothing else will be done in them except the dreams. So if you're finding that content boring and you're not enjoying it, 
you can skip them and join us for the rest of the story. They're not the most interesting parts in my opinion. There's a lot of busy work involved in playing the, the dream sequences and to be honest I've only done one and then I couldn't bring myself to go back in again. But I will do them so that you guys can experience the story if you want to. They'll be recorded regardless. Yeah, this is the bit that I remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure full keys up here. Get my rations again. Is anything appearing up here? No. Oh! Oh! It, she wasn't moving. See, I don't know where... Bulky is. Yeah, I do. I see her now. I think. Whoa! Dear, would you live under Edwin's boot? For that is yes. well. okay. It's for the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new author. How about a story? I'll spin well. you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The I'm gonna skip this. Bit of a slow st Long before, before the uh, this Odin, the moon burned. Right, this is not the snake. Enough, enough. Is this? How does it end? They all die. Yeah, I skip through that because that does take a while. But basically, the guy thinks she's spinning a curse, and we can use these oil jars to surprise the soldiers. I see visions of burning men. The screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. This area is off limits. There's oil here. But I can carry this to here and drop it here and then I can grab this and drop it here and then if I grab this one oil jars on the main road This one's not on the main road though, is it? That's what's wrong. I think it means put them like here. And up here. What was that? My howl. Edwin's men approach. The soldiers are close. That overhanging branch is a good vantage for a first strike. It's 
So, how far do I let them get before I set fire to them? There's quite a few. Wait, 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 I'm going to ignite that one there when they walk underneath me. Spring the trap now. Brings up old memories of Barbara. Where's this oil merchant? Said he'd be here all day. We'll set up here for now. Enough for you, man. That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the god, or could he be a god himself? I don't know. I want to deny it, but I... I... I've seen things in my life. Visions. Prophecies. It's difficult to explain. Heed your visions. Always. You may have been touched by true knowledge. Sigurd is only a man. The son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god. In ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Giedrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. So the last thing I can do is set fire to these. I can do chipping away and I can burn that. And that should be the last of it. That should be burned, right? You know what? I <laughs> fused all my arrows. What? Wait a minute. Uh, where's my inventory? Ah, uh, you can't, really, you can't craft arrows. Has that always been a thing in this? Right, okay, well that's a bit unfortunate. Ah, wait a minute, here we go. 
Got me some hunter arrows. There we go. I have weakened Edwin's defenses enough. Ambushing her soldiers should be my final strike before the battle begins. Which I've done just now. So now I can go and do ringing Gina Bella. Get another lecture off my brother, maybe. Here we go. I should be able to get to... Ah, oh, it's there. Oh, well, that's fine. I can just... Is that another two skill points? No, it can't be. I think that was two that I had anyway. There we go. You can get to the quest objective now. So things are hotting up. Eivor, to be quite honest, is losing faith in her brother. Sigurd's being led astray by Basim, who is basically telling Sigurd what he wants to hear, but Basim has his own agenda. Basim's had his own agenda since the end of Assassin's Creed Mirage. Although he's still a hidden one, and he still practices the creed, he is not... He, he, if, he, if something comes up that suits him and his goal, then... Look, lads! There's Abel! We're with See you, Abel! our fletchers of arrows enough for everyone. Twenty to a man! Long live Keith! Heathrich. Eivor, have you dealt Edwin a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defences. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defences. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Giedrich and victory! Hear that? Eivor, Giedrich and victory. Not Sigurd, Giedrich and victory. So up there is Kina Bella. We need a way in to do their... Aid me. Be my eyes. Hmm. This is where we need to sabotage all the gear. The castle keep looks impregnable. That will be Edwin's last stand. Hmm. So I need to find a way in that's not... Careful to not get seen. All right, I'm in. My objectives are there and there. And there. Nothing underneath me. So... He 
he's dead. The springholds can be sabotaged by interacting with them as well. But I can shoot their weak points as well to break them from a distance. Which is kind of what I want to do. What I also want to do is kill this guy quietly. No, don't assassinate him as well. underneath me that I needed to destroy. This. That's an arbalist, damn it. There's a toxic miasma. That's the only way to stop him firing his crap at you. Is to hit him in the... Hit him in his weak spot. The springles are large bolt casters. I must disable them. That's that. No collision detection on the entrance. Yes. That's one done. Two done. I could break these cauldrons. now going to be a case of smash as much as I can. Efficient. I get up there. How do you get up to it? Am I being stupid? That uh, wouldn't be the first time. Hmm. 
Yeah, they're definitely above me here. That'll be how I get up to them, up here. more to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Giedrich to lead his men. Nah, that doesn't need to be the end yet. I can do more. Apparently I can. Oh well. No, no I can. Why is that coming up with a... Because of all the poison I've got going on. We won't be doing the next mission straight away though. Because that's us just over an hour again, and I like to keep these at about an hour. Maybe just over if there's a, a mission that needs done. So, it shall be saved here. And I will thank you once again for joining me in what is becoming my favourite series. Thanks once again, guys. Do take care of yourselves. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification icon so that you know when my videos go live. Feel free to leave a like on the videos that you watch and leave a comment down below on the videos if you check back in the history in my videos, I reply. As soon as I see the messages, I reply to everything um, and I do like a good chat. Stick around though because if this is the only episode you've seen of this series so far, there will be a playlist on screen that will take you back to the rest of it so you can get caught up. And starting from the next episode, because I think this will be the end of Oxenfordshire. So starting from the next episode, I'll be doing the dream sequence stuff. So if you don't want to see that, then by all means, tune in for the first part of the video. And then I'll obviously tell you when I'm going to go and do the the dream stuff and you, if you don't want to see it you can skip the videos but if you're interested in the story and the lore of Assassin's Creed then you probably want to stick around and watch that. Alright, thanks once again guys, take care and I'll see you all real soon.